Shalom and welcome to Souls on Fire. This Friday is the 11th day of the Jewish calendar month called Nisan. It is the birthday of the Rebbe of blessed memory, born in 1902. A man who would single-handedly rebuild a nation after the Holocaust, Stalin regime, and in an assimilative America. Not only would he rebuild the nation, but with it the Rebbe would break through the exile mold of the Jew, revealing the free, redemptive, proud Jew within each and every one of us. What is the Rebbe's secret? Is there a Rebbe within you and me? Stay tuned for Small Enough to be big. The Rebbe's mother, Rebetzin Chana Schneerson, on the last birthday of her son that she was physically alive to celebrate, said as follows, and I quote, In my life, I have seen great ones. My father was great. From my husband, I had nothing to be ashamed of. And to the both of them came many other great ones. However, Greater than all is my son, and his greatness is that he carries his greatness with simplicity. Let me repeat that last line. And his greatness is that he carries his greatness with simplicity. Wow. Dear friends, sit back and watch a testimony of the Commissioner of Education of the state of New York with his encounter with the Rebbe. Please pay specific attention to the Rebbe's natural response and reaction to being told that he is amazing. Enjoy. I didn't call anybody to try and get any special consideration. I simply took my daughter and we got in a cab and we, or we got in a subway and we went out to Crown Heights. We must have been in line for an hour and a half. My daughter is in front of me, and my daughter goes and, and gets a blessing from the Rebbe and gets a dollar. And I come in right behind the Rebbe. And the Rebbe says to me, what are you doing for the Jewish people in Jewish education? As if I just walked out of his office. And I mean, we're talking about something that happened 1970 was at least 18 years ago, 17, 18 years ago. And I mean, it was immediate. And I looked at him and I said, Rebbe, you're amazing. He says, how is that going to help the Jewish people? What are you doing for Jewish education? And it was as if the conversation had not been interrupted by time. One needs not be simple to shine with his or her own light. However, one needs to be very humble in order to reflect a light 
greater than oneself. Passover, when the Jewish people are to become a light of God unto the nations, reflecting a light and freedom far beyond our own capacity, we are commanded to eat matzah. Why? Bread and matzah are made of the same ingredients, flour and water. However, bread rises. It has the need of self-expression, demanding to be seen for who he is. While matzah chooses to be seen for the great he with a capital H, he above, who we reflect down here below. I will always remember that first time I was going through an issue which I needed to get through and I turned to a friend to discuss, ask advice, receive guidance. I remember the first time I ever heard this phrase, Avrumi, you just need to get out of the way. This week, find the Rebbe within you the piece of you who is willing to carry God's greatness with simplicity. The piece of you which is willing to get out of the way. My friends, dare to be a soul on fire, connecting with your higher self.